It's a sight not commonly seen at the cruise ship terminal these days, an actual cruise ship. The Viking Serenade docked at the B Street Pier, just the way ships used to, before a 1993 state law that effectively killed the cruise ship industry in San Diego. It took a bipartisan effort to pass federal legislation opening California to cruise ships again. The big thing was getting everybody to work together. That was the problem in the past, where people were finding excuses to, to fight. This issue, we brought everybody together to uh, say jobs are more important than, than petty politics. The new legislation overturns a state ban on gambling on cruise ships traveling to more than one consecutive California port. And it made it through the Senate due to the efforts of Barbara Boxer. This has nothing to do with gambling. This has to do with these ships stopping here and the people getting off and shopping. They can't gamble in the state waters. And when the ship stopped calling on San Diego, it cost the local economy about $100 million a year. The state law cost California about three times that. Last year, there were only 16 cruise ship visits in San Diego compared to 100 the year before the state law went into effect. The port district is hoping for at least 100 visits next year. And local merchants can't wait. Any idea what percentage your business could increase? I would say at least 10, 15 percent. The cruise ship lines are glad to see California ports back in the mix. In coldly corporate terms, uh, we're trying to make money, and we think that adding a place like San Diego to our itinerary will certainly help us do that. And the local tourism industry is counting on a boost from cruise ship passengers opening up their wallets once they step ashore. Jody Hammond, KFMB News 8, the B Street Pier.